Hey everybody, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to create an awesome tornado effect in Roblox Studio. Our tornado will rotate, move randomly around the map, pull players in when they get too close, and send them flying if they make contact. We'll also add a dynamic sound effect that gets louder as players get closer to the tornado. So let's get started. So the first thing we want to do is to grab a mesh or model to use for our tornado. So go to your toolbox and be sure you've got models selected and search VFX and you'll see several visual effects packs. Uh, I'm going to choose this first one. It's got tons of good visual effects, uh, but we're going to find one specifically in here that looks like a tornado which is this one you could use several different options but the one i want to use is this one and select it i'm going to rename it to be tornado and i'm going to drag it outside of this folder and put it into the workspace and then i am going to delete this vfx folder and get rid of all the others let's scale it up a little bit and let's align it to the ground going to change this color to be smoky gray and I'm going to turn the can collide to be false and before we get into scripting let's grab an audio clip for our tornado so go to the audio tab in your toolbox and I'm just going to search tornado and I like this one it's called inside tornado by waffles for all before we insert it though go to your replicated storage make a folder rename that folder to be sounds and then insert it into there. Let's make sure this is the correct one. Yeah, that's the one I want. Insert it into there. And now we are ready to begin scripting. So select your tornado, click the plus icon, select script, and let's rename our script to be tornado script. Let's grab a reference to the tornado itself. Here we're just getting a reference to our tornado by accessing the parent of the script, which is the tornado model. This will allow us to manipulate the tornado directly. Now let's define a few constants that will help control our tornado's behavior. These variables set the radius for pulling players in, the strength of that pull, the force that will launch the players when they touch the tornado, and the tornado's movement speed. Next, we need to get access to some services that we'll use throughout the script. Players gives us access to all players in the game. Run service helps us update our script every frame. And replicated storage is where we'll store our sound. And while we're at it, let's go ahead and load and set up the tornado sound. Here we get the inside tornado sound from the sounds folder in replicated storage. We clone it and parent it to the tornado. The sound is set to loop and starts with zero volume, so it plays, but we won't hear it until we adjust the volume later. If the sound isn't found, we print a warning. Next, let's make the tornado rotate continuously. The heartbeat event fires every frame. Here we multiply the current C-frame by a rotational angle to make the tornado spin smoothly. The delta time ensures it rotates at a constant rate, even if frame rates change. We also want our tornado to move around randomly. We set an initial target position and a function that updates it randomly within a certain range. In this part, the tornado moves smoothly towards a target position. Once it gets close, a new target is selected. Move Delta ensures the movement is done smoothly without overshooting the target. Now let's make the tornado pull players towards it if they are in range.
Here, for each player, we calculate the distance to the tornado. If they are within range, we apply a body velocity force that pulls them towards the tornado. If they move out of range, we remove the force to stop the pull. Now let's add the feature where the tornado sound gets louder as the player approaches. Here we calculate the volume based on the distance to the tornado. The closer the player is, the louder the sound becomes, giving a more immersive effect. Finally, if a player touches the tornado, we want to send them flying. When the player touches the tornado, we remove the pull force and create a new body velocity that sends them flying upwards with a very strong force. We add the body velocity to game.debris to clean it up after 0.5 seconds to keep our game tidy. And that should do it for our script. So now, let's test it out. If we hit play, we should 1. Hear the tornado. 2 get sucked into it if we get too close to it, and 3 go flying into the air if we touch the tornado. Then yeah, it appears to be working. Uh, if you wanted to take this a step further, you could uh, write another script to do some fall damage to the player whenever they get go flying. Uh, maybe we'll do that in another video if you guys want. Uh, let me know in the comments if you want to see that, and I'll be glad to make a video on it. But yeah, other than that, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you in the next one.